While working as a TV reporter on That's Esther, Heather started a relationship with director Chris Terrell. Within 12 days, he'd proposed. I decided I'd fallen in love with her, and when we were floating down a, on a fishing boat up the Mekong, I, I proposed to her. And she said? When? Can we see the ring? A whirlwind romance, but the events that followed moved even quicker. They decided they were going to get married in August. Six days before the wedding, he had his stag night. Woke up the next day, she was going, she was all dressed ready to go. She was going to the airport to pick up her sister, who was flying in from Greece to come to the wedding. She said, bye, see you later. He never saw her again, because she rang him up and said, it's off. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Heather Mills. By then, Heather had already met Paul McCartney at the Daily Mirror's Pride of Britain Awards. This was his first public appearance since the death of Linda. The attraction was mutual. Thank you very much. Um, I've been trying to stop crying all year, and I come here. <laughs> she couldn't tell the world that she dumped Chris Terrell because she'd met multi-millionaire Paul McCartney. Chris Terrell has claimed that Heather came up with a bizarre reason for dumping him. In this newspaper article, he claimed Heather had spread false rumors that he was gay. Whether Heather was behind them or not, the story spread. Chris is a great um, a admirer of the female form and has um, a particular um, appreciation for women's breasts, uh, which is why he and I have always got on so well. But so that's always been, you know, it's always a joke. And he always says, you know, that was one of the things about Heather, that she stuck her chest out and he was lost. With her former boyfriend out of the way, Heather now had her sights on a different marriage. I love him. Oh. <gasps> on national telly? <laughs> you said it. And this marriage would make her Lady McCartney.